Welcome back to Team Doctor's blog. I'm here with Jimmy Sandoval, Superfly, a professional boxer from the south side of Chicago. We have been working together, uh, training from, let's see, from when I was an amateur. That's goal. right, that's right. Golden Gloves Championships here in Chicago. We worked with you to get you ready for that, right? Correct. Yeah, yeah. Now you're you have a fight coming up uh, in um, in two weeks, is it? And next week, next week Friday at the Radisson Hotel. Now what date is that? It's uh, March thirtieth. What made you decide to go back into boxing? Just to get that little itch out, I guess. You you had the itch to go back into boxing. Yeah, the itch. Yeah, itch. Uh, Missed the training. Plus, also, it's great for your fitness. Yeah, uh, how, I was a fitting sluggish and tired, so I'm like, you know what, just go back to what I know how to do is uh, running and train, train to fight. You know what's interesting is that a lot of patients, and also people in general, they are looking to get in shape, but you know what, they don't attach a date to it with a goal. And if you don't, you just sort of, every day, well, I'm going to get to it, I'm going to get to it, and then there's no time frame that you have to shoot for now you have a definite date right yeah. Yeah. and here it is right here and you have to be absolutely fit yeah. and more than fit you have to be able to fight for how many rounds uh, six rounds that's a good fight yeah you know boxing is a great way to get in shape so now jimmy you're going to be fighting at the 140 pound weight right that's correct i don't want to give away the farm but what's your weight at now uh right now it's about 147 Okay, you have seven pounds to lose in the next week. Now, give us a, just a tip on what you do to lose seven pounds and stay strong for the fight. Now, what are three things that you do? Just give um, us a couple things. Diet, uh, what I put into my body the last couple of days, just make sure what I put in, uh, either foods or solids, solids or liquids, just make sure I keep a tab on everything I do. Okay, now what don't you eat for sure? Um, I stay away from uh, bread. Tortillas. Tortillas. <laughs> um, Anything that's fried, stay away from all the greases and stuff. Like How about that. rice? Rice, whole grain rice. Whole grain? Whole grain. Okay, good. Um, sometimes wild rice. Even on the proteins, you limit those two a little bit, right? Um, very few. I usually take a, a protein shake, maybe 20, 20 grams of protein in it. 20 grams of protein and a protein shake. A protein shake. Just before or after the workout? Um, one bef uh, after the weigh-in. I'll be make sure. No, I mean after the workout or before uh, one, the workout? One prior to the workout. And then when I did the workout, okay, to a supplement that replenish mm -hmm. what's left yeah. and get the muscles growing, yeah, right. Mm -hmm. And then at night, do you eat? Yes, um, at the workout, I have my protein shake, go home and have uh, either fish or chicken, um, steam there on the grill, and okay. Vegetables. But your your plate is a little bit smaller than normal, yeah, right? yeah, it's small, <laughs> small portions. And you're working a lot in yeah. the gym. How many hours you train um, in the gym? Then? Two hours in the gym and about an hour of road work, okay, doing the running, yeah. And also you're doing a new training called suspension training. Suspension training with uh, TRX bands. And TRX bands, yeah. and that's great for your arms. And also, I think we started that with you with the hanging ab routine back in 2003, right? Yeah, that's correct. We're staying in uh, that's, the ab work. Right, to get the abs in shape so you can take those body punches. Plus, it helps you to, to turn your torso a little faster mm -hmm. on those hooks and those uh, those other uh, punches, right? And uh, correct, and hand speed. Oh, hand speed, hand speed, and everything comes from your core. Right, everything working together like a spring, spinning, mm -hmm. and uh, and you know what, it, it makes a big difference, doesn't it? Yes, it does. Yeah, it makes a big difference. Well, listen, this is happening next week. It's on, what is it, Friday night? Uh, Friday night, uh, doors open at 7. 7 o'clock right at the Radisson. Where is that located? The uh, Merrillville, Indiana, at the Star Plaza. And that's KL Sports Promotion? Yeah. Yeah, and that's great. And so we're looking forward to it. It's going to be a great night, and I can't wait to go. I'm excited and to have Jimmy back in the ring. Stay tuned for another edition of Team Doctor's Blog to see what happens with Jimmy and his fight next week. Thank you.